Hey there, Louis Akabalas here. Thanks for stopping by. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can restrict access to a folder in a SharePoint online site. Now, before we get started, if you find this video helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right, now what we're going to cover in this tutorial is how to break permission inheritance in SharePoint. Now, essentially what that means is that you can break the default permission structure that is set up in a SharePoint online site and that applies to document libraries and lists that are hosted on that site automatically. Now we're gonna look at how you can do this in the SharePoint Online Modern experience. And then we'll also look at how to do it in the SharePoint Online Classic experience as there are some nuances between the two interfaces when you're trying to do this. Now, as you can see here, I have a SharePoint Online site called Document Control and I have a library called Finance Shared Files. And you can see here that there are multiple folders in this document library. Now, before I actually go ahead and break the permission inheritance in SharePoint, what I'm going to do is quickly click on the four members. If you click on this, this is going to show you the users that have access to the SharePoint site. Now you'll notice that there is one owner and that is me. And there are three users who are considered members. Now site owners and site members are default SharePoint permission groups. So owners have full control over a SharePoint site and can do things like add and remove users, manage permissions, etc. And members can pretty much do everything that owners can do except they cannot manage permissions. So that's really one of the important distinctions here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly switch over to this browser here and I want to draw your attention to the fact that I'm currently impersonating one of those users that we saw that had site member permissions and that's Diego. Now you can see here that Diego can see all of the different folders and files that are stored in this document library called finance shared files. Now I wanted to show you this because once I go ahead and restrict access to the specific folder in this case, management files. We're gonna come back into this browser tab where I'm impersonating Diego and you're gonna see that he can no longer see that folder. All right, now I've switched back to my main window and you can see here again that I am accessing this site as myself with site owner permissions. Now I want to restrict access to this folder called management files. Now to do that, you wanna hover your cursor over the particular folder and then you want to go ahead and click on the show actions button. Next, you wanna click on Manage Access, and that's going to bring up the Manage Access menu here, and this is essentially going to show you who has access to this folder. Now, in the Direct Access group, you'll see here that the users that are owners of this site called Document Control can access it. You can see here the users that are in the Document Control SharePoint Site Visitors group have view only access to this folder. And you can see here that the document control members have edit or contribute permissions to this folder, which means they can see it and they can also upload files, edit files, delete files, etc. Now, if I want to restrict access to this folder, I'm going to go ahead and click on the permission dropdown and I'm going to go ahead and click on stop sharing. Now, before I do that, if you perhaps wanted to change someone's permission to view only, so they'll still be able to see it, but they can't actually modify any of the contents in this folder, you can go ahead and set this to can view. And if you wanna restrict access altogether, then you wanna click on stop sharing. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. You're going to see here that you get this confirmation prompt. I'm going to click remove. And you can see here that the document control members are no longer listed. Now I'll just go ahead and also remove the document control visitors as well. So I'll click on the drop down and click stop sharing and I'll click remove again. And as of right now, the only users that will be able to see this management files folder are the users who have been added to the document control site owner permission group. Now I will close out this menu and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna bring back the other browser where I'm impersonating Diego. 
Now you can see here again, I am accessing this SharePoint site while impersonating my colleague Diego. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh the page. And you can see here that Diego can no longer see that management files folder. So that is how you can restrict access to a folder. Now I've gone ahead and I've come back into my document control site, the finance shared files library. Now, if you wanted to restore access to a folder, again, you want to hover your cursor over it and you wanna click on the show actions button and you wanna click on manage access. That's going to bring up the manage access menu. This time you want to go ahead and click advanced. Now this is going to bring you into the SharePoint site permissions menu and you'll notice that the interface has changed and that's because when you're accessing permissions for the purposes of adding users to groups or adding groups to a site or a library, again, it's going to bring you into that classic experience. Now, if I want to grant permissions to the document control members group again, this time on this page, I'm going to click grant permissions. And in the invite people field, I'm going to look for document control members. And I'm just gonna start typing and you're going to see here that this group is displayed. Now you'll notice this check mark here that says share everything in this folder, even items with unique permissions. So again, as you get into breaking permission inheritance, it can become a little bit messy. So you wanna make sure that if you're trying to restore access to a folder that you've restricted, you want to check this box. And then you wanna go ahead and click share. And if I go ahead and refresh this page, you're going to see here that document control members have been granted access and they have again edit level permissions. Now I've switched back to the browser where I'm impersonating my colleague Diego and you'll see here that that folder is not displayed. Once I go ahead and refresh the page, you can see here that that management files folder is now visible for Diego. So that's how to restrict access to a folder and then reinstate that access after the fact. Next, we're gonna go ahead and look at how you can do the same thing, but when working with the SharePoint Online Classic experience. All right, now you can see here that I am in a classic SharePoint Online site, and I've replicated the same folder structure in this document library called Documents. Now to restrict access to a folder when working in the classic experience, you want to check the folder that you want to restrict access to, so you can see here, I've checked management files. Next, you wanna click on the files tab in the ribbon and you want to click on the shared with button. Now you'll notice that the top of this share menu reads share and then the name of the folder, in this case, management files. Now this means that we're going to be looking at permissions specifically for the folder that you selected. Now you can also see that the users that have access to this folder are me as the site owner and my colleague Diego as a site member. Next, you wanna go ahead and click on advanced. And this is going to bring you into the SharePoint Online Classic Experience permission page. So you can see here that this folder inherits permissions from the parent site, meaning that this folder has just the default permissions set up on it. Now, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on stop inheriting permissions. And you are going to get this prompt here that says you're about to create unique permissions for this folder. Changes that are made to the parent folder or library will not affect this specific folder. You wanna go ahead and click okay. And now you'll notice that you have the option to go ahead and select these permission groups. Now, all of these permission groups have access to this folder. You want to go ahead and select the groups that you want to remove. Now, I'll go ahead and select the members group and the visitors group, and then you're going to go ahead and click remove user permissions. Now, before I do that, I've logged in again as my colleague Diego, and I'm just going to switch to a browser where I'm impersonating Diego here. And you can see this is again a classic SharePoint online site. And you can see here, if I refresh the page, Diego has access to the management files folder. And in a second, when we go ahead and click on remove user permissions, you're going to see here this prompt asking if you want to do this, you wanna click okay. You can see here that those permission groups were removed. 
And now when I go back to impersonating my colleague Diego and I click into documents, you can see here that the management files folder has disappeared from this view. Now, if you want to go ahead and restore access to a folder when working in SharePoint Online, the classic experience, again, you wanna select that folder, in this case, management files. You wanna click on the files tab. You wanna click on shared with. You'll notice here that Diego is no longer listed. You wanna click on advanced. And this time you want to click on grant permissions. And here you can go ahead and look for the permission groups that you want to grant access to the folder again. And I'm just gonna start typing classic SharePoint site as that's the name of this particular site. And I'm going to add members again to this field here. Now you can click on the show options button and you can change the permission level associated with this group that we're adding. In this case, members have edit permissions. So I'm just going to leave that as edit and click share. And if I go ahead and refresh this page, you can see here that the members group has been granted permission to access that folder again. And very quickly, if I switch back to my browser where I'm impersonating my colleague Diego and I click refresh, you can see here that the management files folder has appeared again. So that's it. In this video, I showed you how you can restrict access to a specific folder in SharePoint Online when working in the modern experience and the classic experience. And again, you can follow the steps outlined in this tutorial to also restrict access to files, uh, subfolders, document libraries, lists, etc. So that's it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest tutorials that I publish. I'm Louis Acabellas. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.